Hey everybody, it's Pastor Wayne, and I just want to take a few moments to share with you one of the best methods that I found for studying the Bible. Super easy to do. It's called the SOAP method, and the S stands for scripture, O stands for observation, A stands for application, P stands for prayer, and this is a method that my pastor shared with me, and I'm sure he didn't make it up either. Somebody shared it with him, but it's super effective and super easy, and I think it'll be a great blessing to you. So just to give you an example, here's what it looks like for me. So not too long ago, I was doing my daily reading, and you're doing your daily reading, right? So I was doing my daily reading, and, and what I did was I picked out the scripture that really stood out to me, the one that really captured my attention that day. And, and that day, for me, it was Acts 17, 6, and it says, And when they could not find them, they dragged Jason and some of the brothers before the city authorities, shouting, These men who have turned the world upside down have come here also. So that's the first step. It's scripture. Just find the scripture in your daily reading that really stands out to you. The next step is O, and it's observation. So here, let me tell you what I wrote down for observation. These men were looking for Paul and Silas before grabbing Jason and the other brothers. They were referred to as men who turned the world upside down. They weren't quiet about their faith. They weren't worried of being thought of as someone who was being pushy with their faith. They had something that would change everything about a person's life, and they shared it aggressively. So that's, as I'm, as I'm reading this, that's what, what stood out to me. That's what I observed about this. But we don't stop there because the next part is A, and that stands for application. So here's what I wrote down for the application of that one. I wrote, share my faith in such a way that people are not unsure of who I am or what I stand for. Not only share my faith passively by how I live, but also actively sharing my testimony, encouraging others, praying for others openly, even unbelievers, aggressively sharing the gospel, not in tone, but in great forgiveness and with passion and conviction. That's the, 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 what, I, what I felt like God was speaking to me as I read that, that I wanted to be a man who, who would turn the world upside down just like Paul and Silas. So this is what I wrote down as the application of this scripture for my life. And the last, the last one is P for prayer. And that's when you just wrap up that, that scripture uh, into a prayer for your life. And this is the prayer that I wrote down that day. Lord, help me to have boldness when in the world to share your gospel. Give me the opportunity and ability to turn this world upside down for your name and your glory. That's it, as simple as that. You can write with as much detail as you would like or as, as simply as you would like. But I think that if you use this method every day, it's going to be a blessing to you. God will speak to you in ways that you never even imagined possible. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like it, like this video and, and leave us something in the comments if it was a blessing to you. I will talk to you guys later. Be blessed.